Hi everyone, how are you today? This is Grace, uh, GB Maltese, and I have a few things to show you. I have a finished object, I have an acquisition, and I have a work in progress. Plus, I want to know your thoughts about dusting. And I have a couple of, of new items that I got to show you that I think make it a little bit more palatable because dusting is one of my, ugh, I hate dusting. I'm sorry. I hate dusting. Well, anyway, let's go on to my finished object. I made the Doris Chan All Shawl, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. And no, I did not remember to bring it in here because um, I just didn't. <laughs> anyway, this is it. I absolutely love it. Love this pattern. Um, I love that it was it, it was easy. Once I got it started, it was real easy. So go for it. What I used was the ice chain cake yarn, which the size of it looks like is this. This is the color I used. I showed it in my last video. And on one ball, there is 450 meters. I used one whole one of these, and this is on the second one. This is what I have left on the second ball. So maybe one and a half balls. I don't know. Um, this is acrylic. 90% acrylic and 10% polyamide. And what I did, I did block it. And what I did was I have a bottle that I used to mist my things with before I block them out. And what I did was I put water in there and my daughter had given me some essential oils one year. And inside uh, one of the bottles is called calming oil. And I put drops of that in the water and it smelled so good and I'm thinking maybe this will keep her calm and she'll be all zen for Mother's Day but she is in a wheelchair so I like this because it doesn't come to a point and when I put it around me it does fit nicely coming around and as you can see it should be fine for her to uh, sit in her wheelchair without sitting on it or even wearing it in the bed if she so desires. But really liked it. We'll make more of these. I think it's just it's beautiful. Um, once I got it going, it was very relaxing to do. So I really like that. Okay, an acquisition that I got was this gorgeous project bag. I ordered this from Erin, Give Me Yarn 418. She is Southpaw Creations on Etsy. The inside, look how gorgeous. It's red with white polka dots to match the red pieces on here. And it's Mickey Mouse in London. I think it is just adorable. It's very nice and padded feeling. It opens at the bottom. It has a where you it'll stand. As you can see, I have it standing on the table that's next to me. So it will stand like that. And this will hold a lot because I have um, since I crochet my projects tend to be larger than people who knit so I like to get the bigger bags okay my work in progress and it's coming very close to where I want it is my poncho that I showed you last time and this is what it looks like now because this is the way I think I would like to wear it instead of this way as you can see, it's getting quite large, and I'm thinking, I'm not sure how this is going to work out, of trying to maybe sew up 
um, over here somewhere to make it look like sleeves. I'm just going to have to play around with it and see. I'm probably going to make a bigger mess than anything and ruin all of it. Oh well. It can be taken out, so that is one good thing. Okay, that is what I have accomplished since the last time that I talked with you, which has been, I think, about two weeks ago. Now, I don't know about you, but my hands are important to me with, for my crafting. And I spent the other day cleaning house and my hands were so sore when I got finished. The vacuum cleaner, then mopping, um, dusting, all these different things. So I'm thinking, I cannot have that, you know, interfere with my working time on my crafts. Just can't do that. So I thought there's got to be something maybe that might speed things up. So I'm going to show you a couple little pro uh, products that I ordered off of Amazon just to see how I liked it. These are dusting mitts. And you're thinking, really? Really? You ordered dusting mitts? Yes, I did. And I love them. Because look, when I put them on, okay, there's one hand. I put this one on. Now I have two hands ready to go and run around dusting and all those little objects that I have sitting around, you know, your objects do art. You can pick them up and wipe them off and get into all those cracks and crevices with your fingers. And I love these. Now, what I did is when they start getting dusty, I went outside and did like that. Um, just, you know, a little bit at a time or else I went into the garbage can and put my hands down in there. Then what you will do when, um, you know, it, it's going to still have stuff in there, you put it in the washing machine, wash it, and then you air dry them. So, I just got these this week, so I haven't had a lot of time messing with it. And then I ordered a set that looked like this, because these were cheaper. And I wanted to see how well these worked. And they do good for, like I did... TV, um, but these are not as easy to like pick up your objects, but it's good to just do big areas. You can go to town, just, ooh, yeah, I'm dusting, yeah, mm -hmm. you can put a little move, a few moves in there and just have a good old time. Hey, you might as well try to make housework fun, put you on a little bit of jazzy music and, mm -hmm. and not only are you cleaning house? You're getting a workout too. So you know what? You're killing two birds with one stone. At least I try to tell myself. Housework. Now, what about the vacuum? Gotta think on that one. And I also found these slippers and they have little squiggly things. I'll show you those um, another time. And what I did was after I vacuumed, this way I wouldn't have to get the mop and do this and I'd give my hand a break. You put these little slippers on your feet and they have, it looks like a mop bottom kind of. And I'd spray the floor and I'd just kind of scoot around on it. My sister told me I needed to make a video showing you how I looked when I was doing that. I think she just wants it because she wants to laugh at me because she hadn't seen me do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's an idea maybe I'll just show you my feet you don't want to see the rest but I just squirt cleaner on the floor I have ceramic tile and I vacuumed of course first um, vacuum sweep whatever it is that you do um, some people I know use the Da, da, da. Oh, Swisher. Swish? Swiffer! I knew I'd get it. The Swiffer uh, mop or whatever. 
and that works but I, I like to vacuum it first it gets I have a dog I swear that dog he sheds and he's white and it's like he's not very big you know he's like this I swear he sheds like a great Dane it appears when I clean things when I vacuum and I have a Dyson one of those pet vacs it doesn't take any time before I'm having to empty that canister and it is full of I swear a second Oliver a third Oliver because that's my dog's name there's so much hair and if you have cats or dogs that shed you know what I mean my other two dogs don't shed and I love that so much but I love Oliver and so we do things for our babies so anyway this um, the, the talking about the slippers with a, I squirted it and that way I wasn't having to use my arms again and my hands because my hand gripping this part I've talked about this many many months ago about this part sometimes that my hand starts to hurt well doing heavy cleaning sometimes makes it worse so I thought I'm gonna try that and you know what your legs are a lot stronger than your arms usually and you can oh man you can get after it get anything up that's down there <laughs> okay maybe I'm just finding this amusing I know that talking about housework is not the most wonderful thing to talk about but you know what it interferes with our crafting so yes it is important. <laughs> I'm sorry. It really isn't. Um, but I, I just thought I'd bring it up because I don't know how many of you out there hate dusting as much as I do. I would rather sweep and vacuum than dust. And I, I just need to have a big garage sale or yard sale or something and get rid of all of these things I collected in the past and just thought I had to have because... Uh, Okay, anyway, I think that's enough for me today. I'm not going to make this any longer. I'm just carrying on and just chewing your eels off, and I'm sorry about that. But I hope that you're doing finer than frog's hair today. Yes, that is a saying here in East Texas. That means I hope you're doing just great. And well, my, my husband's the one who first told me about that. And I'm like, finer than frog's hair? Frogs don't have hair. And then I had this in my mind. I pictured this frog with, for some reason, it was blonde hair with little tiny strands of blonde hair on its head. And I just laughed. I'm sorry. I find the silliest things funny. But I hope you're doing finer than frog's hair. And I will see you again before long. And until then, take care. Love you. Mwah.